I am Ferdinand Marcos, and I am the President of the Republic of the Philippines. I stand today on behalf of 110 million Filipinos. Hello people and hello universe, it's me again. A shout out sa inyo mga kababayan. Mm-hmm. Hello, hello sa mga Marcos Loyalist and supporters. Nakikita nyo guys, nakikita ko. Nako, talaga naman. Oh. Sabi ni Pangulong Marcos, samahan daw natin siya. No? Nabubuksan. Ha? Ang uh, Cebu Negros pa na 230 KB backbone project mula rito sa Bakulod. Wow, talaga naman. Oh. <laughs> Yan nga ang sinasabi natin mga kababayan. Eh kasi alam po natin, ang Panay Arila, nagkaroon po ng blackout. Eh siyempre, nakarating sa Pangulo, kaya to the rescue ang uh, Marcos Admin. Kaya ito na, sama natin ang Pangulo. Ha? Nabubuksan yung backbone project. Agay, nako. Eh, ito na, mga bihiswa. Panoorin po natin yan, ha? ang kanyang statement. And of course, guys, at uh, pakita natin ang isa sa pinaka-highlight no? ng uh, area na yan. Ito po yun, no? Basay natin, no? Oh. Ang sinabi dito, mga kababayan, na yan, the Cebu Negros Panay Backbone Project is now complete. Nako. <laughs> mga Antay Marcos, makikinabang yan, mga beswa. <laughs> In response to our call during and second na, so na, na the NGCP, NGCP has connected the islands of Cebu Negros and Panay Contributing to the realization of United Nations Grid. Agay. This will ensure sufficient power supply in Panay Islands, preventing total blackouts and minimizing service interruption. Oh my goodness. So, itong pinaka-highlight guys. Ha? Mm-hmm. Ah, ngayong araw ito guys. Ha? Uh, March 8, 2000. Ah, hindi. April 8, 2020, 2024. Oh. Ah, mm-hmm. Mm, sabi, pakita natin yung mga highlights na nandiyan ang ating mahal na Pangulo agoy, o oh, si wow, na wow eh di ba mm. ayan o oh, mga kababayan oh, makala, ang lawak yan guys ha, sobra oh. mm. anong sinabi dito ayan o oh. ayan, si uh, Secretary Lutera, Lutela nandiyan, ng uh, DOE no Ayan, mga official yan, guys, ng mga NGCP na sa likod, no? So, ah, uh, mm-hmm. talaga naman, na. congratulations sa inyong lahat, mga beswa. Ayan, no? Oo, ang lawak pala yan, mga kababayan, ha? O, sa mga taga ni Gross Occidental, Panay, and shout out po sa inyong lahat. Mm-hmm. Well, ako, talaga naman, uh, Marcos lang po ang sakalam, no? Kahit anong klaseng pambabatikos yung paninira, Marcos pa rin ang sakalam. At, Si PBBM ang Pangulo ng Pilipinas. That's all. So, yun mga kababayan, panuri, uh, pakinggan po natin itong kanyang uh, speech. Uh, ang kanyang mungkahi para sa lahat. Dahil uh, nandyan po siya sa araw na ito, uh, April 8, 2024. At pakinggan natin, natin din ang mga ibang speech ng ating mga kababayan na kung saan yung namamahala dyan sa NGCP, dyan sa Negros Occidental at uh, as well as Panay. Ayan. Oh, yun. See you again guys on my next upload video. Bye, bye, bye. And babos. Congratulations sa mga DDAs. Makikinabang mga yarn. <laughs> See you again guys. Okay. Bato-bato sa langit. Taman, wag magalit. Pag ingit, pikit. <laughs> Pag pikit, bakit? Nga, nga. Eto na, mga bes. It is an honor to welcome you all to the ceremonial energization of the Cebu Negros Panay 230 KB Backbone Project. 
which marks a significant leap forward in our efforts to ensure stable and reliable power transmission in the Visayas region. Also witness to this momentous occasion are guests in satellite programs at NGCP Magdugo substation in Cebu and also in Barotak Biel substation in Iloilo. Under the esteemed leadership of His Excellency President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. and with unwavering dedication of the men and women of NGCP, we stand witness to the fruition of years of hard work and perseverance. This CNP infrastructure not only reinforces the existing transmission network, but also paves the way for greater efficiency and reliability of power delivery. NGCP is extremely grateful to the government, energy players, and its personnel for everyone's contribution and unwavering support, which proved to be instrumental in completing this project. May this project serve as a beacon of progress and innovation, not only for the Visayas region, but for all the Filipinos. Thank you and good morning to all. We also call on the President and CEO of NGCP, Mr. Anthony Almeda, to deliver his message. See, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., officials from the national and local government, uh, of Sec Patina and uh, all the um, government agencies that are here, Congressman, uh, good morning, is, uh, and Mayor Albi, thank you. It is a great pleasure that we gather here to celebrate the inauguration of the Cebu Negros Panay 230 kilovolt backbone project, or the CMP. This momental um, milestone represents a significant step towards ensuring a stable transmission grid in the Philippines, and we are honored to lead and witness its completion. NGCP has always worked towards meeting its commitment to provide a reliable electricity infrastructure for the country. In the past 12 months, we have successfully energized uh, major backbone projects, the Hermosa San Jose 500 KV transmission line in Luzon, and the Mindanao Visayas interconnection. The ceremonial energization of the Cebu Negros Panay backbone is our third major accomplishment under the administration of His Excellency. This showcases our continuing uh, dedication to our mandate of enhancing the power transmission capabilities of our nation in service to our people. CMP stresses the link between three major islands of the Visayas and will provide a more reliable transfer of power to support the fast-growing economies of the provinces in the islands of Cebu, Negros, and Panay. This development will not only bolster the efficiency of our electricity system, but also contribute to the overall economic growth and the well-being of our nations. The completion of this project was not without challenges. We extend our appreciation to the President for the untying support for NGCP and the private and public institutions who work with us to realize yet another landmark project. Of course, we, I want, we want to thank personally our uh, DOE Secretary, uh, Papa Lutheria, has, has been very supportive of all our for all the support. The collective efforts of everyone involved have been instrumental in driving this project forward and bringing us to this occasion. As we look forward the future, let us continue to work together in harnessing the power of collaboration and innovation to build a brighter and more sustainability energy landscape for the Philippines. As I've always said to our president, I've always read the book of his father, and I'd say it again, and it is also in our projects that we do for every tier of victory. Thank you. Thank you, sir. At this juncture, may we invite everyone to please focus your attention on screen for an audiovisual presentation on the CNP Backbone Project. CNP celebrates another landmark accomplishment wow. with the energization of the Cebu Negros Panay 230 kilovolt backbone project in March 2024. Yay!
Bahrain talaga. Composed of three faces of the Cebu Negros Panay Interconnection Project and the Negros Panay Interconnection Line 2. This energy project of national significance or EPNS includes 10 new substations. 670 transmission towers. 442 circuit kilometers of overhead lines. Oh my gosh. And 98.9 circuit kilometers of submarine cables. Marcos lang ang sakalam talaga. With the entry of the renewable energy sources wow. in Negros and the ever wow, growing demand wow. in Cebu and Panay. The CMP 230 kilovolt backbone provides a new high capacity 230 kilovolt link to support the existing 138 kilovolt facilities and is a big step towards further improving power transmission services among the three major Visayas islands of Cebu, Negros, and Panay. With a project caught in May 2023, NGCP energized the Hermosa San Jose 500 kilovolt backbone in Luzon. Whoa. And in January 2024, the Mindanao Visayas interconnection Wait. was energized at full capacity. You see, guys? <laughs> Despite numerous challenges, NGCP delivers on its promise. Yahoo! Yes! Yes, the yes! Marcos, the best! And expand the country's power grid. Through the assistance of the national and local government and the strong partnership with shareholders, we are ready to take the next step and bring the country closer to power transmission resiliency. Wow. NGCP. Wow, no, wow. Lighting the path to our energy secretary, Papa Lutilla. Please, uh, please take your seats. Um, Bacolod uh, Lone District Representative, uh, uh, Congressman uh, Greg Casataya, the uh, City Mayor, uh, our good friend, the uh, Mayor Alvi Benitez, National Grid Corporation President, Anthony Almeda, wow. my former classmate, Mm -hmm. uh, NGCP Vice Chairman uh, Big Boy C, Whoa, NGCP Chief Technical Officer palang. Rico Vega, the officials, all of you officials and employees of the National Grid Corporation of the Philippines, my fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We are here today to mark a momentous occasion where we gather here in Bacolod to hold the ceremonial energization of the Cebu Negros Panay 230 kilovolt backbone project wow. or the CNP. You see, guys? This remarkable feat of collaboration and innovation embodies our steadfast commitment to empowering communities, enhancing connectivity, and ushering in a brighter and more sustainable future for generations to come. I, we must recognize NGCP for the successful completion of this CNP. The completion of this project is a milestone in our pursuit to enhance the resilience and reliability of our power infrastructure, especially in this area. We have to align, we have, may, can I have the, can I have this? We have to, we have to align the different power systems that are available in Panay, in Negros, Negros has captive solar power that they cannot, that you cannot transmit. Uh, and the northern part of uh, the Negros Island has close to 500 megawatts that uh, that stranded, hindi uh, nagagamit. So this this uh, power, uh, these these transmission lines will make that available to wherever it is, uh, wherever else it is needed. We were able to uh, fly over a small section, pero malit lang a small section of uh, the entire project uh, which is uh, from here to the uh, to the substation the, that where the submarine the cable crosses over into Barotac Nueva and so that uh, so that's the uh, that's the area we saw but there is a great deal more to the Hangang Cebu it crosses over uh, all the way into Cebu and that will as I said, uh, bring together the power systems, the independent power systems, and it will help resolve the power supply challenges that, that have plagued Negros and Panay subgrids. And these have caused very serious economic setbacks for the region.
So the CNP will also address the surging energy demand in the area and propel the socio-economic advancement of regions 6 and 7 to new heights. To highlight, the combined population of Western and Central Visayas is more or less 16 million. The contribution of the two regions to our economy was a robust 2.24 trillion pesos in 2022. As the population expands and the economy expands, so must the power supply. So the, because this is, an, it is a truism, no region can be an economic powerhouse without reliable supply of power. No region can attain a dynamic economy if it is hobbled by inadequate power transmission systems. We cannot rally our people to seize the bright future that awaits them when their, home when their homes, their schools, and their businesses are often dark. Power outages are a hindrance to progress. Our power system must be the spark to ignite development. The imperative of ensuring energy security for national and, and regional economic growth cannot be overstated. By enhancing connectivity and stability in the transmission network through CNP, we are not only addressing immediate power challenges in Negros and Panay, but also laying the foundation for a more sustainable and robust energy for the entire country. The timely completion of critical transmission projects in strategic, in strategic location is paramount to avoid power disruptions and to ensure our continued development. Let us remain steadfast in our drive to ensure the timely completion of these remaining major transmission projects to bolster the stability of our power grid. And uh, we, uh, we are working very, the government, the special, most specifically the Department of Energy, ERC as well, is working very closely with NGCP so that uh, the roadblocks or the, the bottlenecks that used to exist, we can, uh, we can open up to make the process much easier, make the process much faster, and uh, bring these uh, transmission lines into play uh, online uh, so that there will be an immediate, an immediate uh, effect on not only the health and comfort of our consumers, but certainly for the industries in the areas. And I trust that the NGCP will always fulfill its duty and obligation to safeguard the resiliency and the efficiency of our energy infrastructure. It forms the bedrock. This is how important NGCP is. NGCP and our transmission, our transmission uh, network form the bedrock of our nation's progress and well-being. I urge the NGCP to deliver on the expansion commitments in a timely manner. Rest assured, the government will be continuing, continuously assisting you in this uh, shared endeavor. And let us, we always consider it that way. It is a shared endeavor. It is not a project solely of the uh, of the NG, NGCP, it is not solely the project of the Department of Energy, it is always a joint project and we bring all our resources and all our relevant assets to the problem uh, so as to be able to the, build the best system that we can as cheaply as we can in the, uh, the, the, in as quickly as we can. While the CNP is a major step forward, I implore all our stakeholders in the Visayas to strategically identify suitable locations that will host new baseload generation plants, as well as renewable energy and energy storage systems. This will bolster energy sufficiency and sustainability in Negros and Panay. I encourage private generators to invest in the Negros and Panay subgrids so that the region can meet its energy demands and ensure self-sufficiency in the long run. We have taken a big step uh, in uh, today uh, when we opened this, uh, transmission, this transmission network in making this more attractive to other private investors uh, to come in and to help us with the problem and to um, bring their own uh, capacities to, uh, to, to uh, improving the transmission lines, even the power generation. The collaboration of government agencies, local government units, private landowners will prove crucial in this endeavor, particularly in ex expediting permit is issuance for energy projects 
and facilitating the acquisition of the right of way for transmission system lines and distribution systems. So let this project serve as a testament to the fruits that we can all harvest if we continue to work together, drive our nation's energy agenda forward, and forge a more sustainable future for the Filipino people. Let us ensure that the transformative impact of this infrastructure project reaches every corner of society, especially the under underserved and the marginalized communities. Let us welcome and claim the Bagong Pilipinas that we deserve, a nation where our people's ideas spark progress and where a better and brighter tomorrow awaits us all. Thank you all, congratulations, and I wish you a very pleasant day. Maraming salamat. Uh, oh, di ba guys, narinig yung sinabi ng Pangulo? <laughs> Saan kayo makakita niyan? Mm, yung mga nagsasabi na walang ginawa ang Pangulo, ay... <laughs> Mga utak talangka lang kayo talaga. Mm -hmm. Walang alam. Kasi, antay Marcos kayo, kaya ganyan kayo magsalita. Pero wala kayo magagawa. Wala. Magagawa. Kasi, Marcos ang nakaupo. Pangulo ng bansa. So, yun guys. Wala akong masabi. Speechless. Eh, yun naman talaga ang, ang ating mahal na Pangulo. Talagang tinutugo ng mga uh, problema ng bawat region. Mm. As long as maipaparating sa kanya ang problema ng bawat lugar, agaran yang uh, sa ano tinutugunan ito true uh, sa mga kanyang mga gabinete sa mga sekretary niya no so yun guys salamat sa inyong watching don't forget to like hit the button bell para lagi kayo update sa aking mga upload video bye 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 and baboos god bless philippines batu batu sa langit ang tamaan wag magalit pag inggit pikit Ayan, <laughs> lahat ng mga askal na tumatahol nakikinabang dyan <laughs> Diba? Mm. Babos!